Agreed. Well, I'll go to uh, Les Cam Corda. Um, and look, you know, speaking on budget 2017, I'm delighted to get the opportunity to do so, even though we have to wait this late in the day in the House um, a week on. But uh, it's still very important that we get to go through all the measures because there was so much detail to take in on Tuesday, the 11th of October, um, so many different measures that affect different departments. And in touching on some of those, I, I think I'd start off with childcare. Um, and in this budget, for me, something that had a Fine Gael imprint all over it, uh, if you go back to our manifesto from before the general election, uh, where we set out you know, our, our, our key desire to expand the childcare system that would support those who go out every day uh, to work and uh, to make a living and who are faced with very significant costs in that regard. Um, and budget 2017 makes a very significant investment to childcare to make it more affordable for those hard-pressed families. And there's very much a, a two-pronged approach to this. We have the universal element where um, children from six months to three years uh, are covered um, and in full-time formal childcare and will receive support to the value of €960 Euro a year, a very significant saving um, for those families. And also then the more targeted approach, which uh, sees subsidy scheme for low- to middle-income earners with children to, from six to 15 years. And Really, this builds on the work that Fine Gael would have done in the previous government, where, where we had the second free preschool year for the early uh, childhood care and education scheme, and also the introduction of the two weeks paternity leave uh, free GP care for under sixes. And what we have in our new child care model and, and structure now under a Minister Zappone is a, a system that can be invested into even more uh, as, as we continue um, to grow the economy, get more people back to work and have more money to play with. But the structure is as important as the very significant uh, investment, 15 per cent investment, increased investment in that, uh, in that sector. In the social welfare element, we saw a five euro increase for old age pension, carers, disabled, widows, blind, lone parents, job seekers. Uh, maternity and paternity benefit and CE schemes. Such a wider range of people covering 1.49 million people. Uh, for many, the first increase since rates were slashed by €16 Euro, uh, back in 2009 by the then government. The 85% Christmas bonus for 1.2 million people um, is going to be a really important benefit, not just for those uh, people and their families, but also for the businesses that benefit from more cash going into the local economy. Uh, I was on local radio last week against the Sinn Féin TD where we uh, debated the issue around the young job seekers. And there was, I was criticised for the fact that we hadn't increased uh, young job seekers um, by the fiver as well. But there's a very good reason for that. It's a pro rata increase. Um, and I don't believe we should be incentivising anybody who's 18, 19, 20 years of age who lives at home with their parents, who aren't employed, who aren't in full-time education. That's not what our system should do. I did point out to the Sinn Féin deputy while he was calling for us to give €140 Euro a week instead of 100 that in Northern Ireland they just give €64 Euro a week uh, and that it was a little bit ironic. But even that aside, you know, it is very important to put on the record here that job seekers for the under-26s who are on back to education get the full adult rate um, of 193 that was 160. And we reward for upskilling, encourage, encouraging them to take up training. And job seekers under 26 have rent supplement contribution reduced as well, which is another benefit. And this comes down to Fine Gael's core value of enterprise and reward and making work pay. And this approach is working, that's Cam Corda. Uh, young people on the live register uh, in 2010 was at 90,000 people, and that's down to 34,000 now, and we want to see that drop further. Fairness was a key component of this budget and therefore cuts in the three lower rates of the USC by 0.5%, uh, while not a massive cut, is another step in the right direction uh, for where we want to do to ease the burden on those working families. Medical cards for children uh, in the receipt of domiciliary care, 11,000 children there is, is a very another, another very important measure in that regard. The 9% VAT rate retained for the tourism and hospitality industry, particularly in light of Brexit, is an absolutely crucial measure. But I would say hotels here in Dublin are, are making the case difficult for the tourist uh, facilities, the length and breadth of this country, the restaurants in our regional towns and villages that are, are really benefiting from this, um, this VAT rate. And you know, we need to look at that into the future. Um, third rate reduced by 2% this year and a commitment of a further 2% in each of the next three years um, sees a reduction from the very high penal rate of 41%. And I think that's very, very important. So, what we're looking at, and we have Lansdowne Road looking at our pay for our teachers and pay restoration for those across the board, but we also have to keep investing in our state departments. And 2,400 new teaching posts, including 900 resource teachers and 115 SNAs, is crucial, as are the 800 new Gardaí and the 500 civilians that will be employed into positions to free up another 500 Gardaí to frontline services. 
Um, I very much welcome the Sports Capital Programme for 2017. Uh, the Sports Capital Programmes introduced by the last Government uh, had a really strong impact in local communities, lent a breath to this country, and it's money that is injected right into the heart of communities. Local contractors get to, by and large, uh, get to do some of the works, uh, and I know of a number of clubs in my area that have really benefited from that. And, in fairness, as uh, Minister Corkin Kennedy here beside me, uh, w with the investment that she's got into the Healthy Ireland uh, element, you know, sports capital grant funding, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned, is inextricably linked to that. About um, you know targeting the clubs that, um, if you have a GA club that have a cross-community approach where there is um, male and female participation. The point system for our sports capital funding, uh, I presume, will be the same as it was the last time, which will be very much weighted towards those clubs that have diversity, that have mixed use, and where we get the maximum use out of facilities. Let's not just have um, you know, AstroTurf and, and floodlit fields for one specific club that is a very narrow outlook. Let's reward those clubs that open up their gates uh, to multi-use. I think that's really, really important. And on the health perspective, we have a 14.6 billion euro budget, 25% of the overall national spend on health. And the provision of a thousand new nurses is, is a key component of that. I know in NACE General Hospital in Kildare, we, we need those extra nurses. But we also have the challenge that we have nursing post uh, positions available for use, and uh, we're having difficulty in filling them. And you know, the difficulties there are in recouping the nurses is another area that does need to be tackled. Um, the 20 million for the NTPF to tackle waiting lists and reduce prescription charges for over 70s is, is key, as well as supports for school leavers with disabilities. 5 million euro to kick the Healthy Ireland Fund, as I mentioned, and 30 million for older people. Home care packages, transitional and acute beds um, is absolutely crucial. Housing has been a key component and a key issue. So when we're talking about doubling the investment in the housing of 1.2 billion euro, it shows exactly the commitment of this government to action plan for housing. Uh, that aims to deliver 47. Uh, thousand more social houses by 2021 20, and phase out the use of hotel rooms by 2017, which I think is absolutely crucial for those families in short-term homelessness. That is a, a dreadful indictment on, on them. Um, we have the help to buy scheme. We have the change in the interest rate for, for the landlords. And I think the overall point here, and some of those were headline grabbers and got an awful lot of focus in the media, and they are important components in their own right, but they are part of a much larger action plan for jobs, uh, action plan for housing, which mirrored on our action plan for jobs is a number of key targeted measures across a range of sectors that will get to the heart of where our problems are because the problems in the housing and homelessness sector are multifaceted and we're, we're well aware of that. And that's where the extra 105 million for HAP um, and the rent a room up to 14,000 uh, are, are really, really important measures. I very much welcome the measures as well for self-employed. Uh, we have 380,000 self-employed people, the length and breadth of this country. We, we talk a lot about our corporate tax rate, about our f foreign multinationals, and in Kildare, they are very important and employ a lot of people. But nothing will be as important as a self-employed person who takes on th that risk of uh, employing staff. And that's why the earned income tax credit of uh, another €400 Euro on top of the move of €550 Euro last year is another step towards pay equalisation for the self-employed and recognition of the very important contribution they make to our economy and society. But also the gain in long-term illness and treatment benefits um, without a change in their PRSI is really, really important. You, you, know, we, we shouldn't, you shouldn't be at a disadvantage if you, you take on the risk of uh, uh, taking on a business. We need to encourage that entrepreneurial um, element. And that's why the reduction in the relief for the entrepreneurial relief from 20% to 10% is important. I do think we need to see that 1 million euro band lift, though, and to try and get ourselves more in line with the UK. And I would hope, I, I welcome Minister Noonan's comments that he will um, keep that under review ahead of other budgets. I think that's an important uh, measure. And also the extension of the Start Your Own Business scheme as well. Um, for the self-employed, you had the dental and optical and hearing benefits back for employees and the self-employed equally. Um, over 50,000 extra children to benefit from free, free, free school meals. And I think there's an important element to that. That's going to be over and beyond DESH schools. And at times I think the DESH school system is good, but the DESH school has everything and the non-DESH school that just missed out at the band really there's a sense it has nothing. And at times um, this targeted measure for uh, those free school meals I think is a really important measure there. Uh, Lasky on Corda, there's plenty of other areas I'd like to touch on, like the 107 million for the Rural Development Programme and um, the, the increased funding in the horse racing sector that is recognition of the very real and important contribution uh, that industry plays and um, the 16,000 jobs that it, it has, the length and breadth of the country, uh, as well as the additional 16 million for the Department of Defence. But uh, in deference to my, my colleague, Deputy Phelan, who has a lot of good points to make uh, as well, I'm sure, I'll, I'll wrap up by saying that this was a very prudent budget. Um, it's using the benefits of our improved economy to support those workers who get up in the morning and go out um, to, to, to make good lives for themselves, 
their communities. But it's also a budget that uh, looks to support the vulnerable and those who need our support the most. Um, it also is a budget that, with the measures for Brexit that I haven't got to touch on and beyond, uh, keeps us well placed for any potential future shocks. So I very much uh, welcome this budget and commend it to the House, and uh, I, I thank, I, I thank Lasky and Corder for the time. Um, I got, uh,